Hi guys, it's Matt here from the Forex Coach, and it's now um, 2018, my first trading day of 2018. And um, just looking at the euro dollar this morning, and we've had this tremendous run up. Um, there's been no form of sort of mean reversion um, with this move, it's just kind of kept going and going. And I think it's got some potential to pull back. Now, if we do start to pull back, um, then and have some sort of retracement then we're going to hit some resistance down this area so based on the chart that I'd be looking to get short on which would be the five minute um, I'd be looking for a, a move back down to um, these levels on the four hour chart of around 21.75 would be sort of the max so let's see how that looks 20.175 sort of down this zone here so I'm just going to enter a short now and um, what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to look at now this has got the potential to go further obviously we've got highs here um, which it would be nice to see it take those out so for this first entry I'm going to give it plenty of slack and um, the reason being is I might want to put a second entry in as well so I'm just going to come out and have a look on the weekly charts and just see how that looks. Okay. I'm just going to give it a bit more slack. On here. With the stop. For a minute until I just um, assess the target. So I'll be looking for a reward to risk of around um, one to one on this trade. And my target is gonna be around about here. And um, if I now just come out, I'm just gonna have a look. So I might have to just adjust that stop, stop loss slightly, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go there, it's not quite one to one, but I just want to give it that room to be safe in case it wants to um, push up and take out those highs. So we'll just go in um, with the stop, around about there um, for the moment. So. As I say, there's potential to get another, um, if it does come up and take out those highs, there's potential to get another uh, another short trade in. But that's the one for now, and we'll just see how that goes. <clears throat> one thing I didn't mention, um, what we saw with this euro, is this volume um, bar. So you can see here um, that on this candle, which was... Um, this one here that we had um, uh, high volume come in there so it's quite interesting to see that and um, that was also one of the reasons why it was a, a good time to take that entry as I say even though it has got the potential to still go higher um, potentially that is that is the top for now and it could come off so for me if it goes fine um, if it does push higher, then there's the opportunity to get the second um, second part of the trade in short. Okay, just back. I'm still in this uh, euro uh, dollar trade. Um, it's been kind of going sideways for um, some time now. It's just starting to break down a little bit now, and um, you can see they're in a bit of profit. Um, it's got a bit of work to do still to get down to target. I'll just check the four hour chart. And yeah, I'm still happy with the target based on the four hour chart. I think this um, price envelope is going to push up slightly when um, this hour bar closes, which it has. But looking at the um, looking at that um, target price, it still looks good for that. So I'm going to hold out for now and um, see how it trends over the course of the next few hours. Okay, just back, it started to come off a bit um, 
this euro dollar i never got the second entry um, it never had to push up quite to where I wanted to in order to get that. But what I'm going to do here is just close half of this um, position off. And then I'm going to move the stop loss down, trail the stop loss down. So we're currently one lot position size. So I'm just closing half a lot. And that's done and then what I'm going to do is move stop loss down to entry level okay so half profits are banked uh, stop loss is now trailed down to the entry price and um, so it's now a profitable trade no matter what happens and we'll see if we can hold out to get down to this target I'd be happy if we um, <clears throat> get just above the target, I might close out the trade. So we'll wait and see. <clears throat> okay, we're pretty much breaking down to target here on this um, euro dollar. And I'm just going to see whether to close out here because it's got the potential to bounce. Um, from here especially on the four hour chart looking at that there is some support coming up so um, I'm just going to probably look to close out of this um, this trade here it's just a smidgen above target but it's got the potential to have a bounce as I say so I'm pretty much happy with the um, with the levels here. Okay, it's had a blip down, so um, I've managed to get out of that um, trade there, literally just above target. So pleased with that exit. Okay, so as I say, we're all out of that um, that trade there. As you can see, the second half was exited um, just down here. So nearly 200 quid on that, uh, 200 pounds on that trade. Um, which is good on this account now I may get another short in on this um, this afternoon if it does have a push higher and then looks like it can roll up over again so I'm not going to quite wrap the video up yet um, however one thing I will mention is that um, the videos and these sort of free signals are the ones that I um, post out to all the subscribers to the telegram group the Facebook group etc etc now um, I'm just in the process of finalizing my um, setup when I say my setup I mean my trading station setup my platform setup and um, all of my charts and indicators and the trades that I'm going to be taking this year um, what setups I'm going to be taking so effectively my trading plan and um, for the year and I'm just in the final stage of finalizing that now all my um, signal members, my paid members get access to all of my trades. Um, the free group here I just kind of pretty much do, it averages around about one-ish trade um, a day, um, probably by the end of the year, one-ish trade a day. Whereas there'll be um, quite a few more sort of swing style trades, longer term trades, shorter term trades um, and possibly even scalp, scalping trades. Um, that are available for the members to follow. Now, as I said, I'm just in the final stages before I um, launch launch that my my members channel for 2018. Um, but if you do want to join, um, this is my sales pitch. So if you do want to join, um, you can just go to the forexcoach.co.uk. I'll just pull over the website now, so you can. Have, I think this should work. Um, if you can see this on, on the window, I'm not sure if it's going to record, but um, you go to the forexcoach.co.uk, look at membership packages, um, it's £19 a month, and click on there, you can click a subscribe button using PayPal, so it will automatically um, take out £19 a month. There's no fixed term, you can cancel it at any time, you also get access to all the training content as well, which I will be um, constantly updating throughout the year, so you get an online training course as well on there if you are new to trading. So have a look at that and um, make a decision if you want to um, get involved in a few more trade ideas and a few more trade setups. 
For now, we're out the Euro, and I will sit and wait and see if we can get another entry on this later on today. Okay, so we're getting this bounce on the Euro dollar, which I expected. Um, the exit down here was good. It did come off a bit more um, after the exit, but all in all, um, around this level was about where it was going to be at. And um, I'm going to look to get another short, but um, it needs to push up a bit higher yet. So um, it's got still got a bit of work to do. I'm looking at around this level up here, um, 2063-ish. Um, if we can get up there, then I'll be looking to get in another short. Okay, just back, and I have just um, taken another short on Euro Dollar. Um, it's a bit of a risky trade because we still have not taken out the highs and it is there or thereabouts. So there's always the possibility that this could push up just to take this high out. So on this trade, I have had to give it a bit of leeway with regards to the stop um, and give it a bit of space up here just so it can push up above there if it needs to be. But um, at the end of the day, we are looking for some um, mean reversion. You know, we've got over um, overbought now on the four hour chart and I'm just looking for this to come back round. I, I can see it taking out those highs. So if it does come back down, um, we might see it then turn back up and, you know, continue this sort of ru this run up. But uh, it's just based on what I'm seeing with this sort of looking to, to um, have some kind of pullback, you know. Um, we've come back down, we've tested this 21 period moving up on the hourly chart, and um, I'd like to see it come down to this 200 period moving average down here, um, which by the time it gets there, um, this is gonna have sort of trailed up, so by the time it gets there, it could be up there, over there somewhere. So, um, just taking the short, as I say, it's gonna be, you know, likely to be in this overnight unless I see something else and it has a good run down um, before the end of the night and I decide to get out of it and then look to get another short in tomorrow or something like that could happen. But for now, I'm just gonna sit on it and um, see how it goes. Um, good start to the new trading year, uh, as I said, and um, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. So hopefully you can follow the Euro and see how it plays out. Bye for now.